Mr. Morbazon presents Metroid Dread Final Fight Fury Hey, what is going on, good people? And welcome back. To another one-off. Okay, guys. Today, we've got something a little different. So, we've got Metroid Dread here today. Let's jump on in. Uh, slight twist here, guys. So, um, I'm trying to think of what else we've done this for on the one-offs. Not Metroid, but... The twist is, um, so huge, huge spoilers, I think this is the final boss we're going to try and beat today. So uh, yeah, Metroid Dread for the Switch, if you haven't got this far, it's, you know, it's never good to turn people away from your con content, but yeah, spoiler alert, so just a heads up before we jump in. Um, other games we've done this for, I think Dark Souls 1, we were facing the final boss. Um, I, off the top of my head, I can't think of any other games we've... Well, apart from the complete playthroughs, the Mr. Morbazon plays. But yeah. Um, yeah, before I started this channel, I had quite a bad habit of... Usually with really good games as well, I'd get really far in and often to this sort of level, the final boss, and give it a few tries, but that was usually after, you know, I'd already been playing for like an hour or something. So I'd give the boss a few tries and then, yeah, I'll pick it up tomorrow or something. And then could be a combination of just never going back to it or coming back after a few months or the very next night, not doing well. And then it just completely collecting dust. And then at some point, you know, sell the game or uninstall, etc, etc. So, yeah. I seem to be sort of powering through since I've started this channel. And this is actually a game I've loved. So we'll try and remember to do a little review at the end. But, again, bit of a weird episode for you guys today. Um, does this say when we last played? There's no date on it. So we'll just jump on in. But yeah, it's been a while. I, I'm thinking like maybe six months to a year. I think I tried this boss. It was exactly that. I'd been playing for about 45 minutes to an hour, got to this boss, and then was like, oh man, after like two tries. I think maybe once or twice that same week, I gave it another go. But for maybe even saying half an hour was too long, maybe like 20 minutes. From what I remember, it's a bit of a long, quite intense fight. So, you know, a couple of tries could easily be like 20 minutes or something. So, yeah. From what I remember... I did feel like I could do with a bit more health, but I felt like I had plenty of missiles. So just in case you're new to the Metroid series, health is your pink, top left, and then missiles in the red, just above it. Okay, so we've got charge shots. How do you... Oh yeah, that's how you missile, I think. No, I think this is like the homing missile, so let's not press that. Okay. Oh yeah, screw attack timing. Okay, what's... What is that? She's got a minute. Oh, that's like the counter thing, right? That's your grapple gun, I think. Ah, and that's how you ball, right. Um, is there a way we can button check? That would make me a lot more confident. Okay, yeah, what is this? No, there was... I don't know, I pressed A and she, like, covered herself in a shield. Is there anything that sounds like pulse radar, maybe? No. Flash shift. Oh, that must be it. 
with full Aeon. Okay, let's try this quickly. Yo, that's hype. You did that in mid-air? Yo! We'll have to remember that. Okay, map. That's not a map. This is a map. Okay, it must just be through here. Okay. Uh, there was a way you could do a... Was it this? Yes, what's that? You can fall through it. Okay. I've definitely been up here before. Let's try the gimmick again. Boing! I think that means you can fall through the floor. Is there a hole just here? Damn. Um, right. Damn, I don't remember how I did this before. Can we just walk through or something? Right, one more scan. Elevator. Can we zoom? No. Damn, maybe I'm not remembering something right. Let's get a total recharge just in case and then save. What? Okay. Bit strange. Here we are. Get in there. No. No, 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 no. I don't want this. Oh, yeah, the total recharge is the save. My bad. Oh, maybe we just stand here? Right. Bit weird. Okay, apologies. It's been a while since I played, like I say. And absolute worst case, we can just pause this and splice it. Is it just here or something? Nah, there must be something we're missing in this room here. Let's grab a save just in case. I suppose we ain't done much, but yeah. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that floor, the symbol it's saying there, if you stand on it, the floor crumbles. But how would we... Highlight icons, maybe? No. no we don't want global map. Damn, this is rough. It's not a super bomb, is it? Oh, okay. Right, that didn't show up on the scan or anything. Don't know if this gives you a super bomb back. Oh, is that just some sort of weird pulse bomb that causes no ammo? Hell yeah. We take it. Right, let's get that done so we never have to do that again. So what, we can just freely go up this one, is it? You absolute bastards. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, let's do this. But how long did that take? Nine minutes! My sincerest apologies. Uh, 
Uh, so I was just skipping this cutscene. I did watch it the first time, but it's been ages, so let's re-watch it quickly. Again, huge spoilers. Look how colourful she is. Now let's get this done so we can enjoy Metroid Prime 4 soon. Even though the 2D games and the 3D games are completely different uh, plot timelines or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so Adam, this is like the computer guy who's been your friend most of the way through the game. Um, it appears your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. Your Thohar genes, genes sorry, must have slowed down the process. They were the only tribe capable of controlling the Metroids. Though you put... Your physical prowess suggests that you must also possess Machin DNA. Right, I didn't realise he was actually saying the words there. I thought it was just weird computer beep, so I'll shut up. Metroids are programmed to identify Machin as enemies. This suggests one thing to me. Damn, a lot of DNA floating around. It is very probable that your metamorphosis occurred as a result of Raven Beak's attack. His presence awakened the Metroid's killer instinct. Okay. Since then, your metamorphosis has accelerated. It can no longer be controlled. Oh, yo. You are now a Metroid, Samus Aran. Your very we are a Metroid. Is to the galaxy. However, a grave you threat to the peace. galaxy. You can still contribute to galactic peace. You need only use your new powers correctly. Okay. You have followed my instructions faithfully so far. Continue to do so. It's and same. now. I consider your performance here on ZDR highly satisfactory. As I hope, it has even awakened your metro. The heel turn. That you lived during our first encounter. That one glimpse you showed told me everything. Submit and offer up your power. My plan is the only way. To when computers go rogue. Fulfill your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Will not be okay, wipe the palms, let's go. Damn, 12 minutes in, we haven't even had an attempt yet. Apologies, guys. We'll do the usual sort of episode length, but I hope we can get this done. I was in this same situation in Zelda Breath of the Wild recently. Got all the way to the final area and then just decided to not play for like 10 months or something crazy. I did feel very weak though, that was part of the fear. Here we go! What's he doing? Oh, that burns. Are we meant to counter this guy? Oh, missiles. Wait, he's purple. Have I got any purple attacks? Oh, yo. I think you meant to counter that. Okay, I think our gun is purple, so we may actually be damaging him. Oh, what's this? Get away from me. Oh, what's this? What the hell was that? Should I have got into the ball? No, don't let him burn you! Okay, he's blue. What does that mean? Shit! No, you bastard. Let's try a charge shot. Okay, didn't learn much there. So I think your regular gun was the same sort of colour as his armour. It did go from... Let's have a look at the ice missile. Ah, you gotta charge it, right, so we might have to do that when he's like blue or white. Okay, wave beam! Yeah, maybe we should try charge shots instead of pet. Use it. No! Is this the right place? Oh, it should be, actually. Gotta focus. How do we skip? There we are. I 
Oh, he might only be weak from behind. Yeah. yeah, maybe we should like missile him in the back. Whoa, countering that would probably be an excellent plan. Oh, I think that is what you're... Yeah. Nice. Oh, we went to missile here. I think. Why is he golden? What am I meant to do there? Shit! Okay, maybe we uh, should not have just jumped straight back into this. Yeah, from what I remember, part of the fight, I don't know if it's sort of time-based, like he just uh, rotates his attacks or you have to damage him to a certain point, but it's when you parry him you do that cinematic sequence in the fight and then that seems to sort of change his attack pattern or let you do certain stuff. I don't really get the colour patterns now but I haven't played this game for ages so I would imagine each one of Samus's attacks will have colours. But yeah, we may just have to wait and get this parry timing down. Oh, he's saying 16. Yeah, let's go to about 20 to 25, then do a little review. I have to be aware, content-wise, that this is just the same thing over and over again. But, like I say, it would be... Okay, so we shouldn't get hit by that. That's clearly doing massive damage. Can we do it? Yeah, so if we get that, I think... I think that is what changes it into the next form. Yeah, you just can't seem to parry that. Go on, mate. No, you fuck. Do the bullshit. Get him. Got to the second phase. Nice. What's he doing? Okay, so that's the thing, I think, where you have to hit with missiles from behind or some shit. I might be wrong. Yeah, tough fight. Maybe you can see why I uh, only gave it a certain few tries. I've got to say, this has awakened the hunger, so even if we can't do it this episode, I'll probably will try and have a few attempts for the next few days. <laughs> Only trouble is, after jumping back into it for so long, I may have to look up not necessarily how to beat him, but just what the different sort of colour stages mean. Oh, he only does one if you wish you. Come on, you fuck. No, you bastard. Shit. Hey, got it. That's how it's supposed to be done. Okay, get away. So he's not golden, which is good. Missile! So he's probably going to be golden now, right? No! 
I won't let you. Yeah, that is just clinking off his armor. Weird, was that a taunt? I think we do have to try and go behind him. Or just wait for the parry timing, maybe. Nah, he just turns around. Yes, got him. Go on, Samus. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Now it gets real hard. It's not very often I've made it this far to where he starts flying. It gets very annoying here. No, don't start that. No, what's that bullshit? Oh, you fucker. Get him. You really don't want to waste your missiles, I think. You want to save that for the cinematic shit. No, what's that? Oh, no, we need health. No! Shit! How bloody annoying. Okay, I'll be honest, as chaotic as that second form is, it seems slightly preferable to the first stage. So yeah, the vibe I was getting was when he's got the golden aura, none of your attacks seem to hurt him. So I think you are just waiting for that window where you parry his attack, which is fucking annoying. Why are all final bosses big, dumb, stupid parry babies? Quickly. No, 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 no. Yes. Bully him now. No. Shit. Nice. Do your bullshit. Oh, I did it early. Damn. Are you doing it again? No, you're not. You absolute fucker. No! Got him! So here's why you want to be doing missiles for the most damage, I think. And I don't think you can charge up the missiles. So yeah, I think we are just supposed to be waiting. Maybe wrong. It just seems to be like gling, 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 gling. Yes! Force this neck to change. Stop that. Uh oh, what was he doing there? Woo! Completely thought I missed the window there. Excellent. I'm not sure if that gives you health, it may just be missiles. Damn, this is a tough fight. What time are we on? Yeah, we'll make this the last attempt, sadly. So does he dunk straight away? Oh shit. Okay, learning. Whoa! Get him, you fuck! What are you meant to do there? Just go into a ball? No, you bitch! Oh, it's that? I thought it was the big laser! That's the big laser shit! No, I should have pressed a quick ball button. <laughs> That's rough. Right, guys, let's leave it there for today, but I'm going to try and beat this game this weekend. Ah.
So, review time. Let's go. Okay, sound. Um, yeah, I mean... It's tricky. I have played through this entire game. I'm not sure if this is the final boss, but it seems very final bossy. But, uh... Yeah, it's been awesome all the way through. I'd probably give that a five. It's awesome sound. Classic Metroid goodness. <coughs> Graphics. Yeah, I think this uh, utilises the Switch very well. Maybe not quite as crisp as Breath of the Wild, but completely different art styles. And Breath of the Wild actually lags a bit when there's a lot of stuff. I don't think I've ever experienced that here. But for graphics, we'll probably say a five as well. Pretty sure I said five for sound, but yeah, it's a double five so far, just in case. Charm, it's god-tier Metroid charm. However, this, um, I know you're not seeing much of the game because it's the final boss, but this particular Metroid game, it, it's got some pretty harrowing moments. It's tense as all hell. I think we're going to say a five for charm. There's a slight chance it could have gone into the four territory, but um, it's very, very Moorish. Gameplay. Now, especially as someone just jumping back in, there is a lot. And even just the item menus does a lot as well. A lot of buttons, especially button combinations, do different things. Which, you know, a final boss is meant to be a culmination of like all your gadgets, everything you've learned, leveling up the evolution of the challenge, etc, etc. But um, there is a lot gameplay wise. So much so, it's, well, it's, it's, it's way more than basic. I mean, it's very crisp, it's very tight, there's loads you can do, and you can do, you can handle most situations, unfortunately not the final boss, but most uh, encounters you get into, you can handle in sort of your own way, once you get your own little arsenal. So, um, but because of the plethora of things, I mean, you know, what would the option be? A controller with more buttons? That's not going to help the situation. We may have to dial that back to a four, unfortunately. <coughs> but amazing gameplay. Definitely check this. Story. This is a very nice continuation of the 2D or side-scrolling Samus arc, I find. Um... Again, you guys have saw a little bit of the grand plot twist at the end, but it's been awesome Metroid so far. And a few games I've played in the past, this seems like a really, really top tier add-on to the end of it. So we may actually say a five for the story. Um, You know, computer turning heel, slightly predictable, but the way they've pieced it all together, it's hella nice. Recommend? Yes, guys. Get out there and play Metroid Dread. Replay, yes or no? It's going to be a yes. This is the final boss and I want to beat this game. <coughs> Overall out of five, um, it's tricky. It's very easy to just give this a five. I think the gameplay could hold it back just because of that element I was briefly touching up on. But it's just such an excellent game and I don't think there's really a point in doing like a 4.5. Because again, when I was playing consistently, it would have just been a natural evolution of the challenges I faced throughout the game. So I think overall, and this is probably the first time we've done it on this channel, I may be wrong, but that's going to be a 5 out of 5. <coughs> but of course, Metroid is not everyone's cup of tea, guys. So um, yeah, and it's a bit challenging. So heavily recommend this. Go out and try it. But guys, that's all for today. So if you like the looks of any of the suggested videos flooding your screen at this very second, then check some of them out. But more importantly, let me know what you thought, because space-based feedback is best feedback. Um, of course, if you enjoyed this, we played through all of... I'm trying to remember what the game is called on the channel. I think it's Metroid Zero Fusion. And if I remember correctly, that's the... I think it's a remake of Metroid 1, if not Metroid 2. But it's actually one of the earlier ones in 
this sort of Metroid Dread based timeline, what I was briefly mentioning earlier. So yeah, check out that if you want to pull full playthrough of that. But the main thing as always guys is, I hope you're well, thanks for watching, and see you again soon for another one-off.